what I'm going to be talking about in this video is non-specific immune response, which is also called innate immunity. But before we do that, let's just go back to the main topic, which is immunity. Immunity is the protection from infectious disease. The body has an ability to act against any pathogenic bodies, intruders, by an action of antibodies. That is referred to it as an immune response. Immune response is divided into two. We've got specific immune response and non-specific immune response. Immune response, which is immunity. Before we further continue on this, let's just find the differences between the two. Innate, you must remember that innate is also a non-specific immune response and adaptive is specific immune response. Okay. In time, innate is more rapid, which means it only takes few minutes to an hour. It is rapid and then adaptive is slow because it takes few days to a week. Uh, looking at the diversity, it is limited to, a, to classes of microbes. Innate. It is limited to classes of microbes. And adaptive, it's very large and specific, and specific for each unique antigen. A microbe recognition. General pattern of microbes are non-specific, but in adaptive, specific to microbe and antigens. A response to repeat in infectious, similar with each exposure, which means the way innate response is similar to each microbe. But in, in adaptive immunity, immunogenic memory, more rapid and efficient with subsequent exposure. Then talking of a defense, how an innate defense and how an adaptive defense. Innate defense uses barriers such as skin and mucous membrane, phagocytes, inflammation, fever, but in adaptive, cells killing, they take in an antigen by antibody for a removal. That's how, the, that's how these two defense. The molecules that are involved for this thing, for, 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 for these immunities, to take place or to occur. Uh, in innate, it usually uses cytokines, complementary protein, acute phase protein, soluble mediators. And for an adaptive, adaptive only uses T and B lymphocytes. which is also called animpo antibodies and cytokine cytokines okay further clarify on innate because it's the one we're going to be talking about whenever i see innate i see four eyes by four eyes i mean i mean it is instant it is immediate it is an initial response and it is it induces 
adaptive immunity immunity that's what just rings into my mind whenever I see innate innate immunity there are measures of components of innate immunity which include epithelial cells natural killer cells complement system okay going back to epithelial cells <clears throat> epithelial cells block entry of infectious agent and secrete antimicrobial enzymes proteins peptides phagocytes neutrophils and macrophages which engulfs and injures microbes in natural killer cells name says itself natural killer they kill they kill intracellular microbes and foreign agencies complement system in complement system it amplifies the inflammatory response and uses membrane attack response to lysis a microbe And innate immunity, the one we're talking about. Innate immunity system can also produce chemicals, messengers, that stimulate and influences adaptive immunity, which means for an adaptive <coughs> immunity to okay, it is being stimulated by what? By innate immunity. That's why I refer to it as I4. As I've said before, instead immediate initial response and induces an adaptive immunity. Okay. The recognition of antibody by innate immunity. Innate immunity recognizes a non-specific structure that are shared by various classes of microbes and are present are not present in a host cell such as phagocytes. Phagocytes expresses expresses receptors for a bacterial limb lipopolysaccharides 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 are those receptors found on a surface of a bacteria that the whole cells will respond to or will attach to i will assume this is a lipopolysaccharide lipopolysaccharide and some components are capable of binding to a host but are prevented from being activated by these cells. A reason for that is plasma protein of a complement system. They are deposited on a host. And it also recognizes structure, structures of microbes that are often essential for a survival and ineffectivity of these microbes. And let, let's remember, non-specific immune response, which is also called as innate, it doesn't act on a host cell because that would be dangerous for for a body there are different sites there are different sites where a non-specific immune response acts meaning sites like we've got skin 
we've got oral cavity we've got ears we've got eyes we've got GIT and we've got GUT and we've got the respiratory tract system they all have its own mechanism of fighting against any intruder uh, let's brief look at an uh, let's brief look at an eye what does an eye do whenever an intruder intrudes it it just simply secretes a tear a tear, a tear that's going to fight against any intruder. It's just going to take it out without itself being damaging, damaging an eye. Okay? And an and, 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 and ear. Ear. It produces something so-called cerumen. A cerumen just trap, trap whatever enters an ear. A skin. A skin we've already talked about a skin it called an epithelial surface that fights that fights against whatever intruder encountered by the body oral cavity we've got salivary amylase um, that fights against anything uh, secret um, respiratory system it got mucus Mucus traps everything. It being secreted by goblet cells from the epithelial lining on the body's respiratory system. But for now, I think we're done. Uh, continue.